Now, many of you are like me, and you like your gun bling. You know, bling, bling. Uh, is it tactical? Am I tactical? Do I uh, see myself ever being in a tactical situation? I, I really hope not, living out here in the country, uh, living a nice, quiet life. But do I like lasers and lights and all the things that I can put on my guns? Yeah, you know, big boys, big toys. Anyway... Lasers, you know, there's there's a lot of them out there now, and we're getting some budget stuff, and then you've got really expensive stuff in it. Sometimes it never ceases to amaze me just how much we can spend on bling. And here's the thing, you know, with bling, if if we're not tactical, we're not in uniform, or we're not in the service, uh, you know, we don't need that kind of stuff. Anyway, green laser here. I came across, uh, you know, the budget Green Laser Votatu. I love that name. Votatu. Um, this is the M4LG. And, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, there's really only one way to find out. We've got it mounted here. I'm doing a review for BCA on the BC9. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, let's check this out. Give it a bit of a torture test. Hey guys, I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, those that are, you know, the big time gun snobs, you know, they're really not going to groove on a lot of my videos because a lot of the stuff that I'm looking at, I'm looking at the budget minded. I'm looking at the everyday guy that, you know, is, has got four kids at home, um, works full time and does not have $500 to spend on uh, a red dot or a green laser to just, you know, have some fun because, hey, it's just bling. Anyway, let's check out this Votatu and the green laser. They've also got a red laser and a blue laser, which does pique my curiosity. What would a blue laser look like? Check out the specs and tech. So one thing that I like about the M4LG is we've got this charger. So we have an internal battery, and like I was saying, I'm hoping that equates to, you know, uh, a water tightness. We've seen this a lot, you know, like with Olight and some of the newer lights and lasers. We've got our red light there. Uh, saying that obviously we need more charge. What I want to do is when that turns green, you know, we'll kind of see how long it takes to charge that up. And then I want to turn it on and bleed it out and see how long a battery life we get. And then again, charge it back up. Once we do that, then we're going to take it off and we're going to torture test it. And then we're going to put it back on and, you know, see if it is indeed watertight. And then put it back on and go back to the range and see if it, you know, if it kept zero. Okay, so it got fully charged. We're turning it on. Let's see how long we've got with the juice. Okay, so it didn't take super long. We've got the green light. What I want to do now is we're going to take this off. We're going to turn it on. And let's, let's see how much battery life we've got. And then we will plug it back in and then time topping it off from completely dead. Okay, so it just died. It actually, I got five hours out of that full charge. Let's see how long it's going to take to recharge back up. But that, that was really impressive because I believe it said only two hours of constant on and we got five hours of constant on. Okay, well, it's fully charged. I'm not exactly sure when it got fully charged because we ran to church, but that's pretty fast compared to how long it lasted. So yeah, there we go. You know, I mean, it's pretty kiss, guys. Um, so really, 
I've got it on here. I got it zeroed. I came back here before doing the review on this. Check it out. Now, I've got a green laser here, Votatu. Uh, interesting names. We've got uh, Gobutar. <laughs> That's our optic here, which I'm liking. And then we've got Votatu's uh, M4LG, the green laser. And yeah, I want to give that a try because we can see it really nice back here. Okay, so let's just check out Vutatu's green laser here. Make sure we're on. All right. And you know, when we've got a laser, we don't necessarily even have to hold it out. We can just hold it at the side and shoot. Let's give that a try. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. That's 50. Oh. Now that is our first hiccup, but that's at a Min 2 mag, I think. It's kind of some of the issues that I had uh, with the rifle mags doing kind of the same thing. Let's I'll try it again here. You know, um, the amend mags, they're not working for me. Okay, so I'm back to my P mag. Uh, I just don't have any luck with those amend too, guys. Um, me personally, I'm staying away from them because I just have rifle now and pistol. I have constant uh, feed issues. All right, back to the laser. <laughs> That's fun at 50 yards. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, it works for me. That was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to take it off and guess what time it is. It's that time. So far, this has been a pretty impressive little laser. Now we just got to... Give it a bit of a torture test. Okay, so we dropped about 14 feet. Okay, still working. Now let's uh, let's submerge okay, it. Now this has no IPX rating, but we're just going to toss it in there for about 20 minutes. And real quick here, I'm going to turn it on. And we'll drop it in. Well, you can see it's still on. That's that's definitely a positive sign. I'm going to all right. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it in the freezer. You know what, I'm gonna leave it on. I'm gonna throw it on there. You can see that it's still on. And let's freeze it solid. All right, let's check it. Yeah, it's still on. All right. Nice guys, now we're gonna let it thaw out and put it back on. And I don't know, we'll see, see how well it retained zero if it moved around much. Okay, so it seems to have passed. Um, you know, it was still on underwater. It was on when I took it out of the freezer. I've got it mounted right back on. Let's see what it does. With lasers is you got a red dot and you got your red dot zeroed. All you do is you turn on the laser and you can tell. And I, I, I was shocked. I put this back on, you know, with the screwdriver and it's actually spot on. It has not changed at all, but hey, you know, don't take my word for it. Uh, see for yourself, okay? Laser's on here. Yeah, my finger's not on the trigger. Don't worry about that. Okay, laser, where's the, the layout? Yeah, there we go. All right, it's on. It doesn't seem like it's quite as bright as it was the other day. Of course, it's brighter outside right now. Um, I'm having a little bit of difficulty seeing it. Um, there we go. We can see it there you go, guys. Um, you know, green laser, what is it, 49 bucks? Yeah, you decide. There you go, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. You know, I can't tell if it's just, if it's a brighter day and I can't see the green dot quite as well as I did the other day. I suspect that's the case. I'll have to wait until it gets a little bit darker. But anyway, you know, it's still going and it's working perfectly as far as I can tell. And that's after the torture test. So, hey, you know, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps the most. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're out on the range, every time we're shooting, all eyes are on us. So you, me, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So we need to be uh, good ambassadors. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.